privilege to have with us today um, Senator Auburn Hill, who is the Minister for Industry, Trade and Finance in Jamaica. Um, he's coming for a tour. Do not ask me why he selected us. I just got a phone call three weeks ago, said he wanted to come and see us here in Harlow. And so obviously our doors are open to him. So thank you very much for joining us for this occasion. I think you're joking. Yeah. My absolute pleasure. It's so good to meet you. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm Peter Moodahey. Hi, Peter. How are you? Oh, man. Good for seeing you. Huh? Right. Good to see you, man. Please come in. Let me introduce yes. you. Who runs Brad, our legal you services? Good to see you. This is a very good friend of mine, award winning hairdresser, Natasha John Lewis. This is my marketing assistant, Ashley Delamode. This is the lovely Lisa, Lisa Ellis. She's, she's, uh, she's competing at the moment to be Miss England, so we're sponsoring her. Irene Shelley is the editor of Black Beauty and Hair magazine. Hi, Irene. How are you? And this gentleman here, who's got, he's into his TikTok, is our Hi, Steve award-winning head he's the number one afro destined to be top european hairdresser desmond murray so michael is a very good friend of ours the community many years ago used to run a brand called lustra silk one of the difficulties of working at pat cosmetics is i stress people out so this is our corporate psychotherapist she you know helps calm everybody down the lovely miss keely who sometimes doesn't this is nigel no, just Nigel and I, we're just, in, we're just brought in, you know, we're just recruiting. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ronald Barnes, he's responsible for all our product development. Uh, and this is Ashley, Ashley Hi, has Ashley. a brand along with Debbie and <laughs> Kuei. Uh, they have an authentic Jamaican castor oil brand. They supply bulk to the likes of um, Body Shop, Avon, and they have their own brand that, uh, that we sell on, on our side. Real Jamaican black yeah. castor oil. Everybody, I'd like to introduce you to this lady. This is the British High Commissioner to Jamaica. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, so I'm here to help British businesses export to Jamaica, <laughs> primarily. But I'm also interested. We, we might think that a little differently. We, and we, Jamaican we, we, we're here to make sure he doesn't get a speeding ticket, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. I'm very happy to be here, really. We're happy to I'm have really you. So happy. welcome. Uh, welcome to Beauty Logistics and to Pat Cosmetics. So tell me about Pat. I mean, this is so this fabulous. Um, we so are. How do you get to this? Um, well, basically, <laughs> hard work. <laughs> um, so I've been in the hair care business now a good 40 something years. When I was a teenager, I used to work with uh, one of the newspapers here, the black newspapers called West Indian World. Right. Uh, so this was in the 80s and the 70s. I have a sister in LA who was in the hair care business. Um, she started out a product called Proline that you guys might have heard of. So she took Proline from California yeah, internationally that, and used to come here to the UK and I used to you know, help her do her shows and she used to use the newspaper to do all her advertising. And then uh, my dad, who was in LA, said to me, oh, no, you need to come and go to college because all my kids go to college and this and that. When I was um, 17, I went off to, to California and instead of going to college, I got into the hair care business with my sister. First company I worked for was called Worlds of Curls, right. uh, Jerry Curl yeah. product. And I've been in it ever since. And then I got seconded to South Africa to uh, run a hair care company called Black Like Me. It was the very first black business ever to be started in South Africa. It was started by a guy called Herman Mashaba. So at that time, Pat Cosmetics was just one store. It originally started out, the family were in the grocery business, selling yam, banana, and so forth. All so the, the works, yes. Yeah, you know, in terms of the business, it started out roughly, you know, groceries and so forth, and then they invested in cosmetics, uh, mostly from, from the US. And that side of the business kind of grew and grew. Um, so when I decided not to work in South Africa, when I came back, uh, I used to camp out in the shops looking for a job. Nobody wanted to give me a job. And his brother said to me one day, look, you know, forget all the job hunting unless you and I do something. So at that time we had two stores, now 28. Um, uh, 28 colossal, stores in 28 England. 28 stores yeah, in England. Uh, most of them all around the place. Uh, they're all massive. They're big. They're, they're like a Fontana pharmacy, but all we sell is hair and beauty products. Our customers are no longer just black. They're Brazilians, Asians across the board. Um, so the curly hair kind of consumer uh, is, is kind of who we, we play into. So um, yeah, so we, we play that role very well. Um, we do get hit every now and then when you know people turn around and ask us why is a man with straight hair selling black hair products and then 
Now for cuss bad word upon them. Alarms, we tell you that they don't like it. I hope I've given you an insight into Pat Cosmetics. So yes, uh, a few years ago, I, unfortunately, this is another hobby of mine. Is um, I, I told you I came from the media business, so we we created a Pax Mag that we used to do a couple times a year to really feature kind of the products that we sell, uh, a little bit of news and keep. Very nice. Yeah. It was originally supposed to be sponsored by uh, the brands and through their advertising. But every time that people took out an advertise, they used to say, I don't want to pay you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but as a hobby, I used to, you know, we used to create that a couple of times a year just to keep information to our customers. What we do not have is the investment to produce an agro process so that you can get the product in the form that you need to do your, your business. In other words, we're not going to be in the cosmetic business, but we, we, are, we are a key part of that cosmetic process. We need to grow a lot more Jamaican castor oil mm. and then agro-process it, send it over here so you can get into your product uh, quickly. So we're looking, I'm out here looking for investors actually, uh, not so much markets because I have markets. Mm. I need investors to invest to fill those markets. We have factories, you know, if we say to them, look, we want you to go to Jamaica and set something up. You've got to be able to get the resources in place. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, one of the, one of the key resources for us is water. The best place to get water for beauty products at the moment is in Chicago, believe it or not, okay? Um, but we, went, we met with Jam and I said to him, look, I want to make my own authentic, real Jamaican castor oil product. Put me in touch with somebody, still waiting. I expect that will come. Mm -hmm. I start with you. A, a backward integration into growing an agro-processing. Mm, yeah. Unless you're willing, because you, you clearly have the front end, you can corner this thing, corner the market. Because I don't mind if you're cornered. I want you to, to have jobs in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I want a solid cornerer yeah. who will corner it properly. This is all hair extensions. Down here is human hair. So this at the moment is about 30% of our business, hair extensions. So this is kind of our operation area. So here, this kind of gives you a picture of what's going on this very minute in our warehouse. So as you can see, we print things in, in batches. So this will be like a batch. This then tells there'll be a, a, a thick element of orders that come out like that, okay? The guys then know what to go out and get from where. So at the moment, we've got 99 product, 99 orders waiting to come through on a batch. We've got 215 assigned. So if you look up here, there's 215 orders they've got to sort out and put into the inventory. So all the products for it there, they've got to individually sort everything out, okay? In the packaging room at the moment, there's 42 going out, and then we've got 21 that needs to go out next day, and there are 33 wholesale orders in the warehouse waiting to be to pick to. So it gives us a bird's eye picture. So everybody kind of knows what's going on on a minute to minute basis, okay? There's two products go inside. Ah. Is one the how many products? Yeah. There's, there's two. Okay. If, it, if on the other end the customer says I only got one item in the in the in the, in the parcel, the camera is there. We can send them a clip of the video to show them what was actually packed. In the online business, our biggest issue are returns, yes, right. claims. Of, it, it's it, across that the industry, it's about twenty eight percent of the industry. High, so very high. high. So you have to have some kind Evidence. of measuring. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's what okay. Two pieces gone. Yeah. Yeah. You me. If you pick your basket. Yeah. Ah. So you got your order, so check, so just check the order, see what you got. Two. I have two, one soft cream, one. Yeah. Two. Can I have some quiet, please? Yeah. All right, I get okay. two. Okay, press, press next. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very table, so does work. So scan this, this barcode. Yeah. Okay. How many your hand is it? Two. Yeah, plus two. Plus two. Okay. Yeah. Flat. Yeah. Okay. Not yet close yet. Yeah, okay. Say okay, two pieces okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Excellent, excellent, right. excellent, 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 excellent. The interesting part of the business. There's the other side of the business now where you get people enjoy it. Oh, yeah. 32 here. Okay, right. Hi there. 
Good afternoon. How are you? This is another one of our lawyers. Oh, really? Good, yeah. good, good. So this is our customer service center. So what we'd like you to do is to have a seat in the chair. Okay. So what happens from time to time is that you'll get uh, customers will call up with a complaint. Hello. Good morning. Hi, morning. good morning. This is Senator Auburn Hill from PAC uh, Cosmetics. How can I help you? Hi there. Um, rega it's regarding my wholesale order. Can I give you my order reference number? Please, please? do, yes. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's the number. All right. And ask Hi him where is he calling from? Confirm, uh, the total of my order before I transfer the money. To Bef the before you do that, could you be kind enough to tell me where you're calling from? I'm calling from my company. Yes, we have that here. Yeah, and my postcode is. Got it right. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I just wanted to confirm just the total amount that I've got in my order because I might need to do some addition. Yes. So your concern is the amount in your order at the moment. That's correct, yeah. We have a total of... Is that the number you have? Yeah, that, that's fine. I just want to know, can I do some additions for some Missouri products? Always you can. So what do you want us to add for you? Uh, the Missouri uh, Leave-In Collection Smoothie. Um, to, to make sure that we get your order absolutely right, as the way you would want to have it done, would you be kind enough to just email it so we, I know I have it right? Yeah, what's the email address, please? It's email at customercare. Customer care. One word. At uh, Pax pack, Wholesale, and that's P A K S Wholesale, one word, dot com. Dot com. Okay, that's perfect. I'll do that right away. Thank you so much for your help. And I'm so glad that you could call, and we look forward to helping you. Thank you. Have a nice day. And you too. Thank you. Thank you. There's some light lunch here. I know the minister's going to want to say a few words to all of you. Uh, minister, I just, you know, going to give you a, a, an opportunity to say a few words, please. What a pleasure, Peter. Thank you all so much um, for hosting us here. Um, I do this uh, in many, many cities across the Caribbean, United States, uh, Canada, and now, of course, Britain. Uh, why do I do it? Because um, Jamaica is changing. Jamaica is at a very special place. I'm going to tell you some banking things that I want to make sure you understand what it means. Just recently, um, 10 days ago, uh, Standard & Poor's uh, raised, changed Jamaica's um, uh, uh, credit rating from um, B plus to double B minus. Now that's a major change because it means as we go back to the market, uh, which we haven't been for a while, to borrow money, money is cheaper for us when money is expensive for lots of other countries. Um, Jamaica is a place that people say as a, they should come to invest. We have probably 20,000 new hotel rooms that will go up in the next three to five years, maybe in the next 18 months, at, at least 1,500 more. So we're saying Jamaica is changing. However, we can cut our expenses as much as we want, bring down our, our, our debt to GDP, but to be wealthy, we must grow our exports. We only have 3 million people. Um, so, and there's no territory next to us that we can invade. <laughs> so we will leave the, that with the Europeans for the time being. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we can't invade anybody. The only thing that we can invade is to use our brains and our ability to negotiate new markets. New markets could mean extending Pax market of buying stuff from Jamaica like I want them to do. New markets mean go look for new customers, new, a new generation coming like Miss England to be all that generation of hers, uh, we need to get them into our markets, into the products that we have. So we have 20 agencies in the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce, which I've rebranded Jamaica's Business Ministry, 
led by Jamper in this instance, Jamaica Special Economic Zone Authority is here, Jamaica Business Development Corporation, JIPO, all of them in my ministry, Bureau of Standards to make sure your standards are high when you're going to export, and JANAC, all of them to make sure business gets better. And we want you to insist that when it's a Jamaican style, it's a throw it with, go ahead, go buy good stuff from Jamaica and bring it over here. And Peter is going to come down <laughs> and help grow it and agro process it and send it here and expand our markets. I'm so glad to be here with you. And I, I'm glad for the business that you do with Jamaica. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, indeed. This has been a really, really fantastic morning. And um, I just uh, would like to echo what the minister said. Uh, as the British High Commissioner to Jamaica, I'm back here to support this uh, visit by, I think it's about 40, 40 different uh, Jamaican businesses yeah. are coming over here to see what they can do over here. That you're a shining example to, uh, to everybody. Well, oh, thank you. Um, I had no idea about the, the extent, the size of this business. <laughs> Uh, but the, the British High Commission, I have a team from the Department of Business and Trade, the UK uh, Department of Business and Trade, working in Jamaica to help. Uh, we help businesses uh, go from Jamaica to the UK to export. We help businesses, uh, particularly British businesses, to come and export to Jamaica. And we're also really interested in inward investment. So inward investment from Jamaican businesses here in the UK and British businesses who want to do what we call outward investment to go and set up an operation and of course you start doing one then the other sort of Follow. follows. Follow. Excellent. So uh, I th I'm so fascinated by uh, all that you're doing and I th it was really great that we got a really hands-on tour to really really understand the business. The growth of the online business is, is been a revelation. So thanks ever so much. Good luck to all of you and if, we, if there's anything that the British High Commission in Kingston can do to help uh, please uh, give us right, a ring. Hold a second. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. <laughs> 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 My team is there to help. I'm looking forward to the rest of this visit, and it's been a very good start this morning. So thanks so much thank for your thank hospitality. You. Thank you for, for coming. <laughs>